I'm John McKee, editor of Messianic Apologetics. I'd like to give you an abbreviated update on some of the things which have been happening with our family and ministry over the past four to five months or so. Many of you are aware how we went on an unplanned sabbatical, or perhaps better stated, a semi-sabbatical, starting in June of the summer uh, because of Grandma Huey's failing health. Uh, and it required at least two of us at all times to be here at home with her. And, and indeed, that took up a huge amount of our time and our energy until she did pass away uh, on August the 2nd of this year. Now, we didn't totally go away. We didn't totally disappear. Those of you who've been uh, following our websites, you've been following our different social media channels, know that we have been pretty consistent with posting new audio podcasts, uh, such as the Mark Huey Toroscopes, articles from the Outreach Israel News archives, and various uh, Bible studies, such as uh, right now we're going through First and Second Thessalonians. So we hardly went away, but we did have to limit ourselves uh, because of all of the time that we were putting into uh, Grandma Huey. And then uh, after her death, a lot of the mourning and the adjustment to the new way that things uh, were going to be. I think as a positive result of the past four to six months or so, we have nailed it down that you'll see new posts from me, new audio posts, Saturday through Tuesday, and then you'll see a new posts from Mark Huey Wednesday through Friday, notwithstanding some kind of a, a special uh, teaching or special uh, holiday-related uh, posts. Now, in late September, uh, we did have all of our extended family uh, in for uh, Grandma's memorial service. Uh, we remembered her. We pulled out a lot of the uh, pictures of her from her past, uh, and we especially uh, were able to remember how she was on the assembly line in Louisville, Kentucky, with the last Jeep. Uh, some of you who have uh, contacted us and wanting to know about Grandma Huey. Uh, she had this uh, significant, famous picture taken of her when she was uh, helping with the World War II effort, and she was the woman at the Ford plant in Louisville, Kentucky, who held up the sign, Last Jeep. Uh, and right before she passed away, she had a visit from some members of a Jeep club uh, different people who go out uh, to uh, different major functions, uh, different uh, World War II reenactments, air shows, patriotic parades, etc. Uh, they visited her. Uh, it was on a uh, Friday afternoon, and then by uh, very early Monday morning, uh, just a few days later, she uh, passed away. So, we had a lot of family time this past summer, and we had a great deal, more than anything else, I think, of you know pressing into the Lord because uh, her passing was going to represent a significant shift for us as she was the last grandparent, the last member of the World War II generation uh, in our family. And, you know, what is going to be next after this? What's going to come uh after this very significant chapter is over. Now today, uh, certainly as we prepare to close up the month of October 2021, uh, far too many people I talk to and communicate with are very concerned about the world on some major level. And we don't need to go into a list right now of all the different things that people are concerned about, but... What is going to happen regarding the state of our 
planet, whether it's the economy, whether it's politics, or whether it's one's health. So this past summer, uh, being together a great deal of the time, waiting for that day to come when uh, Grandma Huey would no longer be with us, we had a lot of conversations, a lot of prayer time, and especially how are we going to best talk about things moving forward when this chapter uh, closes up. So one of the things that now that we have gone through this season of mourning, of closure, of evaluating what's next, uh, you're certainly going to be seeing more short McKee moment teachings and editorials like this. I have a growing list of things to talk about once again in that five to ten minute window. But secondly, uh, we, and it's not just me and my parents, Mark and Margaret Huey, but it's also my sister, Jane McKee, uh, we are uh, finalizing some of the plans on what the successor show should be to our Outreach Israel Report and Messianic Insider uh, podcast, which of course kind of ended in June of this past year. And when I say successor, I'm not saying that those shows were bad, Outreach Israel Report, Messianic Insider, but it is clear after the things that we've gone through this summer that those things were for that season, and now there needs to be a new season with a new show uh, that will properly continue in the spirit of Outreach Israel Report and Messianic Insider. And this would be a single show, but it would involve uh, all of us, or one of us, or two of us, or three of us, uh, depending on what subjects will be discussed and uh addressed. Uh, so we're putting uh, some of the you know, final finishing touches on that. Uh, we're not quite sure when that's going to come, uh, but hopefully it'll be sometime uh, before the end of the year or just at the beginning of 2022. It does take a lot for me to come back on uh, re recording a video podcast like this uh, because of everything that we have gone through, it's far easier to just record an audio teaching. Uh, so thank you for your uh, continued prayers. We thank you so much for your kind words and support and partnership with us, not just as a ministry, but also as a family uh, during this uh, significant season of our lives that we see finally coming to a conclusion uh, as we remember Grandma Huey, the time that she spent with us, what she meant to us, and how her death signaled a shift uh, in our own family and for our own uh, future. Shabbat Shalom, God's blessings upon you, and I will certainly be uh, telling you a great deal more as we get back into regularly video podcasting.